Do you know what's not safe for the hungry? Fried pork. And when I talk fried pork, I mean karekareng bagnet at Pina restaurant in Quezon City. Imagine it's fried pork with a rich karekare sauce. It is glorious. So here's how they start to make it. First, they boil the pork for over an hour with some spices that they won't tell me, otherwise they'd have to kill me. And then afterwards, they fry the pork in this big vat of oil. But that's not enough, because they fry the pork twice, baby, twice! Am I the only one happy that it's twice? twice. Okay, so it's twice. Okay, so the first time they fry it, they fry the whole belly just so they can get a really nice shape on it. And then afterwards, they slice it into these really nice serving pieces. But then they fry it again. That makes it, you know, crunchy all around. So you get as much crunch as you can for the surface area. And then afterwards, they serve that with this rich, golden karakara sauce, you know, very peanutty, very sweet. And again, they won't tell me what's inside because then they'd have to kill me. But then, combined together, it is a karakara bagnet. And you know why it's so good though? Because then you get a little bit of that pork, a little bit of that sauce, and then a little bit of that bagoong. And all together, oh my god! You know, the textures are there, you know, a little bit of softness, a little bit of crunchiness. And then just some sweetness from the sauce, some savoriness from the pork, and then of course umami and saltiness from that bagoong. It's just the perfect mix of everything in there. And here's my pro tip. Whenever you eat karikarang bagnet at Pino, make sure to ask for extra sauce. Remember, they're gonna be very generous with your karikarang sauce. Ask for it, they're gonna give it to you, and then you can just pour it all over your pork eat it, and then man, all your problems just disappear. And that is why Karekarek Bagnet Alpino is not safe for the hungry. <laughs>